Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Call of the Wild Angler and I'm very happy because I finally got Diamond Atlantic Salmon after 3 days of fishing and I think around 50 to 20 hours real life fishing I got him finally so I'm going to show you guys what I did is this a tutorial? to be honest I need to say no because I think it's so RNG driven that it's almost impossible to make a tutorial uh, for the diamonds in this game. Uh, I think that the spot is okay, but it's a very big area. But still then, it can take a lot of time. Uh, because I saw a lot of things on Discord where people were catching the fish and it still took for me 15 to 20 hours. Because the funny part is, it's on my gold spot video. And that makes me very, very happy because I was really close to get an, getting a diamond. But at the moment that I made the gold uh, Atlantic Salmon video, they were not active. So they activated with the last patch and uh, that makes me very happy. But first I'm going to talk about something that I saw and uh, that's not so good in this game. So what was the problem? So I came here with this setup. We are going to talk a little bit about the setups. So I was fishing with this setup, the Devil's Advocate uh, with the pure champion, braided 17 and half kilogram. And just, yeah, the, the, the lure does not matter in this game that much because I got it now with the swim bait 3 but you can get it with the spinner, with the crankbait. You can even get it with the frog. It does not matter. That's one of the pity, uh, no, th that's one of the bad things still in the game that you can throw what you want. The only thing that matter matters is the hook size. For the other part, it does not really matter. You can come here, throw something in the water, at some point you will get the diamond. Because I see a lot of people getting diamonds with other lures. I saw a guy getting the, the, the salmon diamond with the frog popper 4-0. That's the first time that I know that, di that the salmon bites on the frog popper. Uh, so yeah but still okay but then i saw another thing so with this setup i got a gold atlantic salmon and it took me a lot of time to get it in but what i always want to do is when i'm fishing like this i want to get some experience in get some levels up and make some money so then i went a little bit higher so i went to this setup and I went first with the 20 kilogram setup. And what I saw was that was on the edge too. Then I went to the 25 kilogram one and that was okay. With 25 kilogram in this setup, you can land the fish. At the end of the video, you will see it. But what is the biggest problem? That sometimes for the silver, you don't get experience anymore or a score system. And that's a very big problem. The score system in this game is very, very bad implemented. It, it's not good. I lost, I think, around 10 to 15 levels on experience the last 15 to 20 hours. But the main problem is, are you going to take the risk? Are you going with a lower setup, get the experience in and miss the diamond? That's what the game is saying to us. And that's not a good system. And that's a very big problem that they got in the game because you need to have a certain setup to get a certain fish in. If you go under it, you get spooled. And that's a very bad system. It, it's like three, four mechanics. They are so bad. They just need to switch that around. Uh, that's what I want to say about that. So this is my setup. I'm going with uh, the Gar Raiher X. Then with the True Mediator. Then with the 25 kilogram one. I'm not even going to talk about the drag system that is broken. Uh, it's, it's really crazy how it behaves. It's, it's so broken, it's unbelievable. Uh, you guys can see it at the end. I can go with, with this setup. So you need to imagine this can handle 45 kilogram. And this is 25 kilogram. And my maximum drag that I can go on this reel is 20. Otherwise the fish is going to break it. It works perfectly. This works perfectly. Don't ask me why. Because he goes to 15 kilogram. This works perfectly. But this is so broken. I was fishing with this and I was thinking, okay, drag 50. I got the first fish on. And it almost broke my line. So be sure that you're on drag 20. Otherwise you'll break your line in, in 5 seconds. And then I'm going with the swim bait 3O. What is so special about the 3O? The 3O is only producing gold and diamonds. That's a very bad system too. Because what is a problem you cannot see? what is biting so if i had now sometimes a bite like for example how can you see there is fish on a position you don't know that because the bronze and silver are not biting anymore 
and that's that's once again fifth mechanic that is very bad executed so you throw and you think it's dead but it's not dead because if you go from a 3-0 to a 1-0 you've got 10 silvers on the same position so you never can see beside visible that there is fish eating and that's the very big problem so this is a setup where i am at the moment i'm on this position it's my gold spot position so you need to go all the way to this area so here is a starting area and then I was sitting here because I'm at the exact same position and I was throwing over there. And what I do is, and that's a six mechanic that is very broken. So if you throw this in the water, you can just reel it in on the surface with the speed tree. Don't ask me why, but it seems that salmon is uh, top water predators now. And uh, that's how I get it. So everything that you put on, on a rot in this game, you just do a constant retrieve, you reel it in, even with the speed 3, and you just throw everywhere until you got the diamond. That's everything what you need to do. Sometimes I let it go a little bit to the, to the bottom, but I think that's just because I cannot look at this kind of fishing, and I want to do the fishing right, but it's not, it's just the same. It does not matter. You can put a spinner on this. You can put a crankbait. Crankbait is the only thing that works. Like it has to be working. Uh, but that's what you need to do. Ju so just throw until you got the diamond. And then to end the video. I'm going to show you guys something else. Because I think that's maybe important too. So in my gold video I talked about the... How can I say it? I talked about that the morning bite was really good. I already saw that in my gold video that there was really quick, a lot of action going on. And guess what? Uh, it was around 7 a.m. Now we are already a little bit later, but I got uh, the diamond at 7 a.m. 45 minutes. So a quarter before 8 a.m. It was once again that time frame. I'm not sure that it matters, but if you see that you cannot get it always and for example, it's 6 a.m. and you need to do something. Stay fishing. Stay fishing. Try to fish from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Because I think that has something to do with it too. So that was it, guys. Enjoy the catch. Uh, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Uh, I hope that they work a little bit on the mechanics. Because at some point they need to work on that because at the moment what do you do in this game you just throw your lure in the water you just go around you reel in always at the same pace and uh that's not really that fun it's very boring at some point but i want to thank you guys for watching and i see you guys in the next video i think what is the next one maybe something smaller i like brown trout because i see a lot of brown trout jumping around the last couple of days i think i can get the diamond brown trout here too but i think i need to lower my hook but it's possible I just go for the pike or the eight. Maybe that's going to be a little bit more simple, the diamond one. But I see you guys later. Bye bye.